What's up guys, Apple released iOS 13.6.1 one month after 13.6. Of course, today we're going to take a look at what's new, the bug fixes, performance, battery life, and whether or not you should update to this new version. So starting off, the update came in at about 106 megabytes on this iPhone SE, the 2020 iPhone SE. This will of course vary depending on your device and from which software version you are coming from. Now, if we head over into settings and general and the about section, we can see that we're running 17 G8 zero as well as scrolling down a little lower we can see that the modem firmware remains unchanged at 1.06.00 of course the modem firmware will be different on different devices as well but if you have any connectivity issues then these won't be fixed here so in iOS 13.6, we got many new features and changes. However, this update doesn't bring that much, especially since it's a small size, but fixes many of the bugs that were present in 13.6. Now, there are three main bugs that were fixed and they were also included in the update by Apple. So let's take a look at these together. Now, the first issue is it addresses an issue where unneeded system data files might not be automatically deleted when available storage is low. So this is essentially the storage bug. Now, this one I never experienced in, on any of my devices, but many people reported having issues with this. The second bug fixes a thermal management issues that causes some displays to exhibit a green tint. So this is the green tint bug. I also never had this bug, but some people reported having this bug and saying that the screen would turn green when the brightness was, was very low. Of course, this one is fixed here. The issues were with thermal management as said by Apple, even though I don't understand how a low brightness would really make a thermal management issue. And finally, the third change here is fix an issue where exposure notifications could be disabled for some users. So this would be disabled for some people, even in those countries where they have an app and where it works. For those that don't know how to turn on exposure notifications, you have to go to privacy, health, and COVID-19 exposure logging. Of course, if you have an app, then go ahead, you can turn this on. For many other countries or states, this is not available just yet. Now, in regard to the VPN bug, and this bug has been quite an issue all the way from 13.4 and has yet to be fixed. So here in 13.6.1, uh, it doesn't seem to be fixed. This means that even when you use a VPN, some of your data might not be fully covered by the VPN, which can pose quite an issue. Now, looking at the performance in battery life, performance, I mean, performance is really good and has been on 13.6. I was running 13.6 for quite some time before I updated to iOS 14. So 13.6's performance was pretty good. Of course, now recently I have not been using 13.6, so I'm not really sure. However, using 13.6.1 for the past hour or so, it feels good. It feels smooth. I really don't see any issue here with performance. So it should be the same on 13.6.1 and there really should not be any change. Now, in terms of battery life, battery life on many people's iPhone 7s and 8 had battery drain issues. In iOS 13.6.1, this might help with battery life, but of course I can't know for sure because I didn't really experience this for myself. But of course, with a new version, it might help you. So for me in 13.6 and here on 13.6.1, battery life was quite good, um, especially on the iPhone 11 series. So should you update? Yes, you should definitely update. Um, there really isn't anything wrong in this update. Um, it all seems to be fine with the bug fixes, security enhancements, and some little performance boost and maybe even a boost in battery life. It will definitely make the experience much better. So if you did not have any issues, then you should still update for those better security and performance enhancement. So that's pretty much that. Well, this is the end of the video. I would like to know what you think about this update and how this update is treating you. Also, if you enjoyed the video, then please do leave a like, subscribe, and hit the bell to stay notified when I release my next video. Also, of course, if you missed my previous video, then please click the card shown up there. Okay, take care, and I'll see you in my next video.